guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Austin Plays video. Today we're doing a first tutorial. We have my friend here. I actually forgot what his name was because he's a new. He's kind. He's kind of new. Rapid fish. That was it. So anyway, today he's just gonna be kind of hanging out and like helping me with the video a little bit. But we're gonna be um, building this plane. As you can see, it actually flies. It's pretty actually simple. Except we're not actually gonna use this plane for it. We're just gonna um. We're gonna build a new planes. So come on down, fish. <laughs> right here. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna give him maker pen, which this will be a little tutorial for that. So if you don't know how to give people maker pen, you can only do it in your personal room. You go to this room. You go, well, after you click this room, this will pop up. Then you go to settings. Then you go to permissions. Then you go to co-owner and click these three little people right here. And invite whoever you want to be. Well, co-owner. And I'm inviting Rapid Fish. Because, well, he's the guy I want to help me. So now you should have Maker Pen Fish. Now I'm going to be kind of teaching him how to use Maker Pen if he doesn't know how to use it. Do you know how to use it? Not really. Okay, so, now, to get what you want to get, you want to look on the top, and do open palette. And then a thing should pop up. Go over to shapes, while well, you're already in shapes. And now, it'll be on tube. Click cube. And, and now, you should be in materials. Click colors on that little, like, a big square little panel thing and pick a, any color. I'm gonna pick a blue. Okay, I'm gonna pick green. Okay, so now, now that we do that, I want you to look on this little thing on your maker pen and I want you to click snapping to grid. It's on the very top of this little thing, like up in the middle here. Just turn it to grid. Got it. Okay, now, in your palette menu, I want you to go to settings. And now, right okay. at the very top middle, you should see enable self-scaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now, you're on PlayStation, right? Could you repeat that? You're on PlayStation, right? Yeah. Okay, so now... On your hand controllers, on your right hand, I want you to hold triangle. And on your left hand, I want you to hold square. And just do this. You should be able to zoom in and out. This will make building very easy. So now, like, hold them and then zoom and then put your hands together. Or hold them and put your hands out. See, very tiny. Now do it very big. Put your hands together. Just put your hands together now. Now, see, you'll be able to grow very big, and then you can just teleport out of it. Just teleport out of it. Mine's on move at the moment. No, like, you can use, you can use teleport to get out of it. Like, when you're big, it makes it to where if you try to use the move thing, you teleport out of it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. So, after you have your cube enabled, you want to go... You want to you want to go big, okay? Just a little big. Don't take too long. All right. Okay, now go uh, go a little big, just a little big, not too big. Big, go big, not too big, a little big. Just big enough, yeah, to this. Now look. Make, like, a small little cockpit. Just, like, a few little squares all going together with a window in the front. I'm not even going to try and take time on this. Because it's, like, for a tutorial video, so... 
it's not not like anything it's not like anything I'm gonna save so with make sure you have a little window in the front that you want to be the front and do that now how big is mine mine is clearly a, mine is clearly a little small but that's fine so um try and make them straight which that grid enabling thing I let you do makes it a lot easier Let me just notify you guys that he is new, as you can see. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This body's like... Ugh. Kinda got it? Yeah, so you want to try and make it a little good. And you can't just throw these away. It's all going to be one thing. You, you, have a del you have a delete function on your maker pen. It's just a red function. You should see it red. Much easier. Now, after you've made your cockpit, just go ahead and put down your maker pen, which you just drop it like a normal thing. Now, as you can see, they're a little small. So now, on your maker pen, you want to choose the scaling option. My maker pen's being a little weird. It's a yellow, it's a, wait, it's a, like a dark, it's like a mix between yellow and green. Pretty sure I got it? Yep. Okay, so after you do that, point at it and hold the trigger and drag. And you should, no, drag, like, keep dragging until you see which way that's going to do it. Just drag which way, like, every way you can to see which one does it. Okay, now look, um, you're sure it's on scaling, right? So look, it's, it should say scale on it. It's like on this side of it. Scaling. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it for you, cause I'm not. No, not not very top right. Got it. Yeah, now point at it and drag. You should be able to. Not too big. Not too big. Ah, oh, oh, it's gigantic. Right about there. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go into your palette. It might be palette. It's anything. I just call it palette. Now. No, no, palette on, on your makeup pen, remember? And then go yeah. to gadgets, I believe it is. Hi. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> did you see my guys, did you see me guys doing this? And now, um, on, on your palette. What is going on? There on you your, go. on your palette, go to gadgets. It's up in the top things. And then go down to other gadgets. Now go to impulse volume. It's in the bottom corner. I think he's a little laggy, guys. Yeah, uh, bottom left. No, bottom left. Impulse volume. You should see it. Okay, that's a little big. So now, guys, what you want to do is after you spawn in your impulse volume, make it go sideways. Now, as we can see, our friend has done a little wrong. Now, what we want to do is we want to do this. Hey, buddy. I, th I think you're a little laggy there. Hello? Okay, um, yeah, you've got a little lag in you, by the way, like, very bad. So, anyway, look, so we want to use that scaling option again, and scale it down. And now, this is a thing where you're going to have to scale it each way. Just scale it down to a little box. 
a little too small on dude like listen that's way too small on that one side make it a little bigger uh, here um <laughs> this is a little weird okay bro it's flat you know that it's flat here let me do it okay just because you can't really get the feel for it. Just drop your makeup pin. Yeah, um, he's increasingly getting worse. There, so go ahead and take your volume and clone it. Use the clone option on your maker pen and clone it all the way around. Well, actually, before we do this, we want to do the configure option and do speed 20, maximum speed 20. And now after we do that, we want to delete this one that we have made and clone another one and make it sit in a square now that we have made it square well, is, well not really exactly a square more like a plus make sure make sure make, make sure you configure it right so look here first delete these two now Choose the purple configure option in the middle of your maker pin. And now and now point at it and click it. And now you should see on your palette. You should see here, let me check. I forget what it's called. Um you should see speed M slash S. Click input and put it to twenty. And make sure you click enter. And now, do you see maximum speed MS? Yes. Yes, click it and do the same thing. Okay, okay now, you should be able to clone it. And make sure you get it perfect. If you hold the clone button, you'll be able to move the cloned object. Now, make sure you get it in a really good square or plus like I did. See? It's not perfect. Let me, let me just, let me just, I, I like, I like it symmetrical. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but it'll do for sure. So now that we have this, we're going to do the select option on our maker pen up in the top right. You should see it. Hello. Are you going to help me with the omelets or not? In a little bit. Well, I'm starting now. Uh. Okay. Um, okay, now that we have this, if you have the select option, do you? Uh -huh. so, so, go ahead and use your select option and click all of them. Just click all of them really quick and then do the move option on your maker pen okay okay now get back a little bit and grab your object so that you'll still have a little space to put it in you gotta make sure you gotta make sure it's facing the way that you want to be able to go make sure these arrows are facing the way you want them to go you can you can get closer with yours because you can get inside of yours which way are the arrows facing I don't don't have too much time by the way. Um 
Okay, you gotta do select thing again. In fact, I'm gonna do it again and move it back a little bit. You didn't select all of them. Here, let me do it. I'll get it a lot quicker. You get the gist of it, though. So now that we have it in this one spot, let's go ahead and get our create. Oh, uh, you didn't put a floor in it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but like it would help a lot for like the feeling of it. But it's too late now. We don't really have time for it. So now we want to configure our object. Cause look, whenever we go towards it, we run into it. We don't really want that to happen unless it's a really big plane that you can walk into. So go ahead and do the configure thing again. It's in the middle and it's purple. And now point at it and configure the your thing, like your plane thing. And you should see physics mode. Choose decoration. Okay. Now after it's decoration, go ahead and throw your maker pen away. And, and get it back out and go back to like the go to gadgets again okay now after you go to okay. after you go to gadgets go to gizmos you okay. should you at the very bottom you should see rotator is a rotate gizmo And now go ahead and spawn it in right here. Now, one, one. Sorry. That's fine. So now, what you want to do, whenever, whenever you are wiring this up, is you want to get this right behind here where it will spin behind it. Okay, look, look at, look, 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 look at your maker pen at the very bottom. Do undo delete object. At the very bottom, undo, okay. keep doing undo. There we go. Now, put it right behind your, your object. What is he doing? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go. <laughs> oh. Oh my, what are you doing? <laughs> Look, do do the big thing. Do, do the big thing. Do, do the big thing. The big, 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 big thing. Now grab, grab triangle on this. You can move yourself while big. You gotta switch off and teleport. No, dude, switch off and teleport. Quick, quick. Switch off and teleport. Dude, switch off of teleport. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like the weirdest thing I've ever gone through. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> what just went on? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, now move, now get your rotator and move it behind these. Move it behind these, behind your impulse volumes. So now this is kind of what you want it to look like, is behind it and like, it doesn't really matter if this is in the center or not, just kind of like get it right. Okay, bro. Okay. <laughs> Literally just move it behind there. It's not even a big deal. You don't even have to move it with your maker pin. You can literally just set it back there. It's like the easiest thing to do in the world, actually. Okay. It's not the best way of spinning it because it's not straight, but okay. So now look, after you do that, 
you want to go onto your maker pin and click the wire tool. Now, uh, go small. Small. No, listen. Listen, use your maker pin thing to go small. Zoom in. And now you can move using triangle and square to drag yourself one at a time. One at a time. One, look, look, one at a time. It's easy. Now, come on in here. Now, you, this little brass piece right here. Okay, look, just come down. Look, go down. Look, it's easy. Go down. Just drag yourself down. Bro, drag yourself with one button at a time. Triangle, then square. Now, stay, stay back, because otherwise you turn invisible for me. So now, look. But, okay, look, go back. Go backwards. I can't see you. Okay, now look. You should see, you should be able to see this little, like, brass end piece here, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Wire that brass piece to all of these, one at a time. Just click and drag it to, to these impulse volumes, and then it should be done. If you can't get it, come get me. I'll do it for you. So basically, you just like wire this little tip right here to this one, this one, this one, this one. Perfect. Got it. Nope, you're wiring the black piece to it. You did it wrong. I make myself normal. Yes. Which way did you wire this? Okay, literally. Oh. Okay, look, watch me. When you spawn it in and it goes back here, you wire and make sure it's this brass piece. It can't be the black part. It's got to be the brass piece. No exceptions. Then wire it to all of this, to where it looks like that from the little brass piece. And then you wire the black piece to the green thing. Wire the back black piece to the green thing. So yeah, uh oh, yeah, that didn't work too good. Just like, made myself jump off. You wire this back black piece to your object that you want to be able to fly. Make sure this is in your cockpit where where it's spinning and hitting the player. Let me see. Yep, you've done it right. Okay, come on out. Now look. Now comes the easy part. Just, I want you to watch me. So, you choose the configure option on your maker pin. And now, I'm going to scale down because it's easier for me. So look, you go, you go down. Come here. Come here. Come here. Not, not too much, not too close. Just till you see this red and this green one. You wire, you wire the green one to be 300. Oh, that's 1,000. I want 300. Wire the green piece to be 300, and then the red piece to be one. <laughs> and then you should see it to start spin. By the way, you're getting another lag spike thing. So go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, I'm just going to add a little extra detail to mine while, he, while I'm waiting for him to do it. I'm just going to add, like, a little, like, say, handle. You don't have to do this, guys, by the way. This is just to make it easier for me to fly it. That, that was your own fault, buddy. Now I've got to fix this for him. Because he completely ruined it. And now I've got to wire it for him. Because he doesn't know how to wire it. There, now you should be able to move it like this. Okay, my other friend's going to join. 
So now look, go back here, come back here. If you want to do this, come back here. And now take out your makeup pen. Okay, now use the configure option to make the green one 300. Three hundred. It pops up on your palette. It pops up on your palette. Man, this kid is laggy. It pops up on your palette. Working. It pops up on your palette. Yeah, I know. Is it is is it the purple one? The purple one configure purple. You got to mm -hmm. you you can't just aim it at anything. You got to aim it right at that little green tab that has zero on it. Got it. Yeah, now do the red one to 1. Okay, now just throw away your makeup pen. Now, see how I'm grabbing it? You s you sit right in front of these impulse volumes and then grab it. We'll grab it first and then move it to where you're inside of those impulse volumes. I mean, just watch me after I make my thing grabbable. And I make all of them grabbable. Or the this thing grabbable. Now watch, I'm gonna fly my box. <laughs> it's fun to fly boxes. Mom, fly yours, dude. Okay, so. So. Just grab it and move yourself inside of it. Bro, you can grab some. <laughs> Oh, dude, where did it go? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where did it go? Like, seriously, it's like, okay. <laughs> did he fly, like, all the way over there or underground or something? He did. He did. Oh, my gosh. I think it's falling forever. Is he? I don't see him anywhere. Eh, there's his box fly weird thing. I don't see him falling anywhere though. Where you be? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> look. After you grab something, you can grab it out of that hand again. Look, try it. Just try and grab stuff out of your hand again. So that you can, like, maneuver yourself tor in towards it. Now, look, use that to move maneuver yourself facing out the window so that you can see out the window. But still be able to, like, grab it and stand those impulse volumes. Just make sure you keep holding it. I'll be right behind you. Is he, is, oh, there he goes. Dude, we're flying boxes. We're flying boxes. Wait, hold on. Like, seriously. Wait, what? Wait, what, what? How is he doing that? How is he doing that? Ugh. 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 No, I want to be underground. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, this, how does he keep doing that? Wait, dude, hold on. Is he flying with his hand? Okay, <laughs> let me get some actual really nice looking planes. I did not make these guys, by the way.
A really cool guy made them. I just, I just made them work. They're very high ink though. Let me turn them on. I still gotta turn them on. Now these ones look a little bit more realistic. They don't work yet. Don't touch them. Someone just messaged me. Hmm. I'll check that out later. There we go. Okay, go ahead and fly it. Yeah, guys, I, I just cannot stress now. I only added a few things. I only added the handle and some of these yellow buttons and this extra gauge. He did everything else, the whole plane. It's just a really nice plane. I had to make it fly. And the propeller, I made the propeller work. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and a little bit of gameplay. Um, it's just really nice to be able to fly planes in this game, especially for PvP people who want to have a really quick way to be able to fly and get away from stuff. Um, I just really hope you liked it. And I guess I'll see you guys later in the next Austin Plays video. Austin Plays out. Hello.